did you watch the Justice League movie, which just came out on DVD, 4K, Blu-ray, the works? Some people apparently are confused by why Superman wears the black suit. I didn't think this was something that needed to be explained, but let's just get down to it. Superman needed the black suit because he just come back from the dead. I don't know if you've ever come back from the dead. There was this Jewish guy like 2,000 years ago. It's kind of its own story. It's not really a time or place to discuss it. Needless to say, coming back from the dead, it takes a lot of energy, a lot of power. Hence why the Justice League needed to use a mother box and a speed force super juice to bring him back from the dead. People have argued, okay, well if he needs a black solar suit, black being the color that absorbs solar energy the best of all across the spectrum. That's odd that he would need that since he was able to defeat the Justice League by himself without the black suit. Yeah, he was, but the Justice League wasn't trying to kill Superman. They just brought him back. They were trying to pacify him. Also, the Justice League isn't the threshold for the danger level here. There's an entire conversation prior to that in this sort of round robin moment around the mother box where the whole Justice League is saying that they aren't strong enough to take on Steppenwolf, the villain of the movie, and his parademons all by themselves. They're just doomed to fail. They can't run and hide. That's not a plan to win, it's just a plan to lose slowly. So, there's only one option left on the table. Who's gonna say it? I'm not gonna say it. I am gonna say it. I'm the only person talking right now. Bring Superman back from the dead. He defeats the Justice League in hand-to-hand -hand combat, again pacifistically, and burning any solar and or speed force based juice he'd just soaked up. He'd been dead for a couple months at that point, which is why Lois, who, spoiler alert I guess, is pregnant at that point, isn't really showing yet despite, you know, the act of creation having taken place prior to Superman's death. I'm trying to say that in a very YouTube friendly way, I guess is the way to phrase that. Now, the black suit is also comic accurate. The death of Superman, usually at the hands of Doomsday, also usually involving a mullet at some point in his resurrection, but that's neither here nor there. In his return, he's not fully powered, so he wears a black solar suit to recharge, and uh, he even has a gun in some incarnations of it. And he comes back, soaks up as much sun as possible, and then goes to doing superhero things, usually battling you know, Cyborg Superman or whatever in order to clear his name and set himself as the one true Superman that is and shall forever be the Man of Steel, the Man of Tomorrow, the last son of Krypton, one of the best superheroes ever created in fiction. Why does he wear the black suit canonically within the movie? Well, again, solar suit. He flies immediately up to the sun, absorbs the solar rays. Yeah, he could take on the Justice League when they were trying to play with the kitty gloves on, but can he beat a new god, the equivalent of Satan and Megatron from the Michael Bay Transformers movies, having an aggressive baby? Who's to say? Superman's lines are, to Lois Lane, they brought me back for a reason. I have to figure out what it was. He goes back to the Kryptonian ship, chooses the solar suit, flies up into the air, soaks up the sun, and shows up just in time to save Cyborg from getting cleaved by that horrific giant battle axe, something straight from a heavy metal revamp of the Lord of the Rings. Phenomenal. So, if you were confused, well, it doesn't make any sense. Superman was strong enough to fight the League. I've covered that. Why would he choose black? Why wouldn't he choose the other color? Well, I've just covered that now too. Comic accuracy and scientifically within the world of make-believe superheroes and magic and time travel. So, at this point, if you don't like it, just say you don't like it. But there's really no other reason, especially since most of the things the people who say they don't like it do like does the exact same thing. So, you can disagree on implementation, but you should kind of shut up about whether or not it should or shouldn't have happened. A dude who makes movies made a movie. And he chose to do the thing that is comic accurate. That's pretty cool. As a side note, some people were confused as to why uh, Superman didn't see the bomb in Batman vs Superman. He wasn't fast enough to react to it, yet he was able to move out of the way of Barry Allen. Well, let me explain. Lex Luthor set a trap. That's actually explained in the movie. I don't know why people are confused by that. Even the theatrical version explains that it was a lead-lined wheelchair with a bomb and it meant to kill people and to catch Superman unaware when he wouldn't be expecting it. So he isn't at his fastest. He's young in his career and he didn't see it coming. It was literally designed, engineered to be 
unseeable and unstoppable by Superman. No further explanation should be necessary because there are many choices in other comic book movies that are a lot more shaky that no one bats an eye at. Full Batman pun intended. Uh, and as to why uh, he wasn't fast enough for that, he was fast enough to move out of the way of the Flash and slap him on the butt and send him flying into Aquaman uh, at the steps of his monument in the revamped Superman versus the Justice League battle. Well, he just got super juiced by Speed Force. So, also, let's be real. If you only had super speed and the guy who inspired you was like a nightmare Frankenstein's monster charging at you, you probably wouldn't be running at absolute full speed. You'd probably be doing your best, but also hesitant. Like those videos of people who try to make a jump and at the last second slow down and then fall miserably into whatever jump they were trying to make. Similar concept. The Flash has been shown to be intelligent, but also very new at all of this. And at the end of the day, even if there was no logical explanation, it's a comic book movie. Turn your brain off and just enjoy it. It's not that difficult. The same way we believed a kid could be bit by a spider and shoot web jism out of his wrists. You know what? It's all make-believe. Just have fun. It's about the stories and the way they make you feel. If they were supposed to be realistic, nobody would have superpowers. Anyway, thanks for listening. I hope this clears all that up. I don't know why it needed to be cleared up, but... Well, I think we've cleared it up nonetheless.